Hello and welcome to the Art Lab in a Box. It is Sam here. I have my March box in the mail and it is all about monsters. And today I have something very exciting that we're gonna be making. We are gonna be making some clay monsters. Let me bring them closer. We're just gonna be making one, but here's some of the ones I made. I made a bigger one, a smaller one, and maybe if you want to make smaller monsters, you can make more than one. But see, these are some of the ones that I created, and I'm really excited to show you how to do it. So get your box, open it up, I'm gonna show you what you need inside. Hi everyone! Okay, so I have a very special surprise for you. I have some friends joining me today. I have Sabrina, Stell, and Jenna. Hi they kids! <laughs> So today uh, we are gonna be making our clay monsters like I just showed you. And I wanted to have my friends join in because there's so many different ways that you can make your monster. All right, so um, we all have our piece of clay. Everyone show your clay. Get your clay out, get it ready. And the other things we're gonna need, not right away, we just need our clay right now, but the other things you need are in your yellow bag. We need our butter knife, our paintbrush, our paint, and then this one looks like white paint, this little tiny one, but this is actually called Mod Podge. It's a really funny word. This is what's gonna make your monster nice and shiny after you're done painting it. All right, so get your ball of clay, get ready, and let's start. All right, so everyone, you have your ball of clay. All right, we are gonna break it into two pieces. One bigger piece and one that's like a little bit smaller. So kind of in half, but one a little bit smaller. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Get two pieces. How's yours? Perfect. Show. See how mine's like just like there. a little mine's bigger. A little needs a little more. There. How's it feel, guys? Oh, it's good. awesome. Squishy, squishy, squishy. So this is air dry. So we can't leave this sitting out. We have to start working right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the reason why we have two balls, one is going to be to make the body of our monster, and this one is to be is to be used for accessories, like if we want to add extra eyeballs. See, I have eyeballs on this one. I have some legs on there. So whatever you want to make. So this part, the small ball, that is going to be creative stuff. This part, I'm going to show you the main part. So everyone, take your big ball, start rolling it in a nice, smooth ball. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Try to make it like cl close the cracks up. Try to close the cracks up. Beautiful. Got your ball? Almost. Take your time. Yeah. You don't rush artists. Never. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, we all have our ball ready to go. Now, this is the part where we want to make kind of like a circle bowl mouth shape. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer and show you. Okay, so here we are a bit closer. I have my trusty ball. It looks like a snowball. If you got anything in it or any colors or anything on it, it's no big deal because we're gonna paint over top of this. Okay, so put your ball in your hand, put another hand on top and squish it down. So it kind of looks like this, all right? And now, using our thumbs, we're gonna push in the middle a little bit, not all the way through. We're just gonna press it in, and we're gonna use our fingers to form a ball shape, like this. So however that's easy for you, just move it around. Yep, push it down in the middle. And if see how it's cracking a little bit on the edges? You can just kind of press it together, press it on your fingers, that's gonna happen but that's okay, there's a way to fix that. So I wanna keep mine nice and thick. You don't want it to be so thin like a tiny pancake or a crepe. You want it to be kind of like a thick, what would you call this, guys? Like a bowl. Like a bowl. See how it kind of looks like this? Not too thin, because you don't want it to break, mm -hmm. all right? So go ahead, press pause, and add, or and turn your clay into a bowl shape, and press play again when you're ready. So like this? Perfect, yep. Or would it be too thin? No, that's good. Every monster's gonna be different, so you can... The redo mine. <laughs> yeah, redo it. If yours is not turning into the exact shape you want, just put it back in a ball, 
try it again. Okay, now hopefully you have a cool bowl shape. If it's kind of long, that's okay. It does. All of them can look different. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it up on its side. And you wanna use a plate or some sort of tray, maybe a parchment paper, something that your clay isn't gonna stick to. We'll put it on like that so that it's kind of sitting up. See how this one is kind of sitting up like that? You want to kind of fold it down so that it's like an open mouth like that. Can you see that? All right, go ahead, press pause, and make yours into a monster mouth. Keep going, everyone. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, once you have your cool open mouth shape like this, the only other thing you're gonna need from your kitchen or school or house or wherever you are, you're gonna need a little cup of water. I put mine in a jar and I put my paintbrush inside of it. This is gonna be to smooth out the cracks and make everything kind of flow together. So when you are ready, go and grab a little cup of water and get your paintbrush ready. All right, so as you can see, see these like tiny little cracks there? I'm gonna try to close them up with my finger. And then this part, you can get some water on your paintbrush and just kind of brush it on. But you do not wanna soak your clay. That's the only thing you have to remember. You don't wanna soak it. You just wanna get enough water on there so that you can smooth the lines together. Okay guys, you see that? Yeah. And just kinda going over the lines, making it all smooth, all right? Okay, go ahead, press pause, and add a little bit of water around your mouth. Okay, now the part where we can be creative. Let's add some different things to our monsters. I'm gonna use my other ball of clay here, break off a piece, and I'm gonna make an eyeball to go on top because I love when monsters just have one eyeball. I think it's really funny. So you guys know how to do this. We do this all the time. We're gonna roll a ball with our eyeball. And this important part I'm gonna show you is how we stick our eyeball to our clay. If you wanna put two pieces of clay together, you can't just put it on like that. It'll just fall off. Wow, that looks like a clam with a pearl. <laughs> so what we wanna do is we wanna score our clay. That is where we use this knife. Now don't worry, this is just a butter knife. It's not too sharp. What you wanna do is you wanna do a crisscross pattern going across the part of your clay that you wanna stick. So I wanna stick this part to the top of my little buddy here. So I'm just gonna score it. That means cut it up to make it kind of rough like that. And then I'm also gonna score the piece that I'm sticking it to. So I'm just gonna do some crisscrossy lines like this, rough it up. I'm using this hand to hold it in place because I don't just wanna chop down my thing. I'm gonna take my time and make it all rough like that, see that? And then I'm gonna take this rough part, this rough part and squish them together. And there we go, now we have an eyeball. Amazing. How is yours working? Good? Oh wow, I'm let's three eyeballs. Let's see everyone else is here. We have all these guys. Ooh, very nice. And then what do we have over here, Sabrina? Show us yours. I am doing a little eye here. Oh my Ooh. goodness, that is looking so cool already. <laughs> I think I'm taking some inspiration from Toy Story with mine. Oh yeah, the aliens on Toy Story? Let's see Jenna's. How's yours looking, Jenna? Aww. Oh yes. <laughs> Fabulous. All right, so now go ahead and press pause, work on your monster, do anything you want. You can put legs, you can put arms, you can put three eyes, you can put anything you want. You can add teeth. Let me show you mine. I added some silly teeth here, but make sure you're scoring your clay so that it sticks on. Look at this one, I put a silly little tongue in there. He is looking awesome. And that's it. So go ahead and sculpt your monster and then I'll show you what to do next. Here they are, all finished up. Now we're just gonna wait a few hours for it to dry. It's actually gonna take about a couple days for these to dry. 
about 24 to 48 hours, um, but you can paint it sooner than that. But I would wait a few hours so it's just kind of dry to the touch. And then you can use your paints to paint your monster. And remember, these are your paints and this one is your Mod Podge. This is what you put on after all your paint is dry, after everything is dry, you paint it with this a few days later and then it'll be all shiny and glossy. All right, so go ahead and either wait the few days or wait a few hours, I mean, for your monsters to dry and then paint it. And then we'll meet you back here for part two to see the finished monsters. Now the last step is easy. We are just gonna take our paint, open it up, Make sure you're putting your paint flat when you're opening it up. There you go. Get your paintbrush that you got in your box, this one. And all you do is dip and paint. You can do it however you like. Add on a nice layer and then let it dry. And once your paint is dry, like I said, find this little guy right here the one that looks like white paint this is gonna dry clear you can just cover your whole monster in this stuff once you're done and it will be nice and shiny and sealed and beautiful and if any of your monster pieces fall off just get some glue stick them back on sometimes that happens but don't worry just glue it on it's as good as new all right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I hope your monsters are looking awesome. Be sure to send me a picture. I would love to see it. Great job, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Ah!